You, no, you, you ask us, eat literally ask no. us every single week if you mind if you we know, do eat. It's just, it's just a courtesy. The answer has not. <laughs> it's just a courtesy. In what we're world are we changing? Stinky. You're in the lunchroom, yeah. actually. Yeah. True. And you ate that broccoli and cheddar one time. That's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah, it was like a broccoli ched soup that I just took straight down. Just nailed it. Yeah. Um, I guess thanks for your courtesy, but you know, at this yeah. point, would you would you really have not eaten if we had said no? I probably would have held off. <laughs> He's just very polite. Just so incredibly did, polite. Did, the, did the conversation about work or organization <laughs> make the make the no, recording? No, no, we have just oh, okay. Just started with you eating. So um, I was still setting up. So I have a question. Okay. If it so you guys both drink coffee, right? Yeah. What about work? Do you only? We, really? Not on the weekends? Coffee is reserved for work only. Really? Yeah. God bless you. How about you? You drink it on the weekends too? Um, sometimes on occasion. Yeah. yeah. It depends. Sometimes maybe we'll go treat ourselves, go get like Dunkin' in the morning, uh huh, uh-huh. and do it that. Or I usually make it at home. Yeah. But okay. lately, I've been trying to switch to tea. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Nope. Monday through Friday only. One cup really? of coffee. All nice. Oh. Sugar. Special type of creamer. I can't even say I drink a whole cup of coffee either. Usually it's like half. Oh my gosh. This is giving me a headache. I yeah. <laughs> I'd have such a headache. <laughs> I also, I don't like to work creamer here, so I bring my own fancy creamers from home. Yeah, I gotta start doing that. you That's a power mover right there. Almond Joy flavored. Rice Krispie Treat flavored. You below. Thank you. On the flavor. other side. Uh, other side. Yeah, there you go. Uh, see that yeah. was yogurt flavored. Uh, uh, Ryan has a beard too, so stuff gets caught. <laughs> it happens. Like, yeah, I gotta go back in here and trim it up a little bit. You have a beard mouth. just like your idol. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I like to believe he aspires to have a beard like mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so let me ask this question. I don't know if I it's have actually... pumpkin spice creamer right now and Rice Krispies <laughs> in the fridge. Oh my gosh. And so, I mixed them together this morning and it made like a pumpkin pie and it was ooh, delicious. That's awesome. So hot tip to anybody out there. So pumpkin spice plus rice krispies equals pumpkin pie. Get it right. <laughs> this got really intense all of a sudden. Yeah, I know. You, you felt really passionate about that one. I, I, I think I just need tasty. to bring in a quart of just plain half and half. That's where it's at. You don't I, add any sugar? Nope. Unless I get like a latte or something like that. So out, but you're like, just drinking some bland coffee. Yes, that's that's life right now. You drink like three cups milk. a day, right? On, I would say on average, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's pure half and half. Oh, coconut cream was a very good flavor too. So, so let me. Ask Why am I moving in? I know how this works <laughs> by now. I know it'll pick me up. So I had this thought occur to me this morning, right, as I came in and was making coffee. Okay. And the reason why is because as I was pouring the bag of coffee into the filter, it begins to mound up at a peak. Yeah. Right? Like, like a little a, mountain. Like an anthill. So it made me think. I like my idiom better, but and okay. ask this question. If it meant wildly inexpensive coffee, like where you can go out and get a cup of coffee for, let's say, one fiftieth of the cost of coffee now, mm-hmm. right? Would you employ ants to fill a coffee filter? How I is- just want to know how this came up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so look, the genesis is that I noticed that the shape of pouring coffee into the filter looked like an ant now, right? So in your world, I instead of having... the light bulb that's going on. <laughs> that have ding. So it's, this, it's, this brain is a scary place. So it... Yeah, no, this is normally like something I'll go on. Yeah, it seems like a Marshall. It really does. I was, I was channeling. Now I know Marshall. the fear that you guys live in every single day. Yeah, like my inner Marshall. So in your world, instead of buying my bags of coffee, I just press a button and then little ants are going to deliver and fill my coffee filter. Yeah. With coffee. Where did they no, get in the coffee? I don't think so. I well, want for it. No. No. Well, it's like, where did they that get That implies that the ants are just in the building yeah. waiting. And also in mm-hmm. your coffee. Yeah, but they eventually come out. Yeah, but how clean is an but ant? But how clean are they? I mean, like they, have they live walk? in the ground. I can't. I know they don't take clean. baths or anything. No. Yeah, it's gonna be a no for me. Just a thought. Yeah. Starting it out there. No, nothing. Oh. All right, then. 
we'll keep spending four bucks a cup. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> if it means uninfested coffee. You can get coffee. a shirt that has a mound of coffee with ants for <laughs> I do want that merch. <laughs> it's pretty good. Cool. So, okay. So I'm sorry. I was being silent because I just wanted you to reflect <laughs> on what you said. So, so how about I do want that shirt now. That's an great. farm that harvests coffee beans. What do we think? <laughs> I feel like really, you wildly do you don't understand how like coffee works. It's a bug's life for ants recently. No, no. Okay. There's like more than one stuff like than the harvesting of beans. Farm. I digress. Just like an ant farm? No. I digress. Okay. Yeah, let, let your daughter have some ants. No, it's okay. They'll be all over the place. I mean, you know, when I, when I was thinking ants, I was also thinking like an ant, like a family member. So I like to believe that it's just a farm run by family, <laughs> family members. That's pretty it's just women picking coffee beans, being like, "Why did Justin want this?" <laughs> That's Be awesome. Very weird. <laughs> oh, oh boy. So. Now, what if it was your aunts delivering coffee? That makes more sense. I think that makes more sense. They probably make good coffee. Just a bunch of ants. Like, we just fundamentally misheard the question. <laughs> it was just ants delivering coffee. I think that's, um... <clears throat> I, I think thought you have the work. same... Sorry, you have the same drink, but different mm-hmm. bottles. It's yeah. strange. Yeah, so... He brought his from home. Yeah, you know, it's funny. So, so my wife got these this past weekend, uh-huh. right? And she's like, wow, there's a great sale on, on uh, soda. Uh-huh. Right, and she bought like some of these for work because they're doing some sort of fundraiser. Yeah, and they got like two six packs or two eight packs, whatever. However, they were selling it for us. Now I just realized why they were so cheap is because the date stamp on the cap is September twelfth, and that would presume expiration. Also, has a Jurassic World logo on it. It came out in May. Yeah, this is old. It's pretty old. Yeah. Got, Sorry, I was still thinking about the ants. We got shafted. I mean, if it tastes fine, who cares? Yeah. It tastes okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Poor Jurassic World. Yeah. Terrible movie. Terrible, terrible Jurassic World. It was that bad, huh? Oh, the third one's terrible. Really? Yeah. Still did better than a lot of other movies. I don't know how many times I'm going to say the word terrible. <laughs> oh, man. It's like they were passing off the torch back to the old people. Yeah. And that's... You know what? Not enough companies do that. Stop passing the torch off to the younger generation. Pass it back off to the original generation. Like, Y'all screwed it up. Fix it. Yeah. I love that attitude. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, uh... No, I'm still stuck on your hands. Oh, okay. I just want you to know how baffling of a question that was. Hey, I just... Hey, I was just throwing it out. I mean, one of our first t-shirts we'll make. Definitely. But if we ever... Ever get to the point where we need merch. have the demand for merch? We're doing. We'll do the ants filling your coffee. <laughs> the best day of wa- best part of waking up is ants in your cup. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I like it. I like it. <sighs> oh, that seems great. like a fancy sandwich. Yeah, what are you it's eating? Salad. It's chicken salad. Oh, looks. Tight. I got yeah. grapes and raisins in it. Uh, it does. So you it was actually so white. An amazing. Um, <laughs> The amazing sense of ESPs. So I went to go pick up my daughter yesterday, and my thought going, you know, going home was, I don't feel like cooking dinner tonight, so we're just going to eat That's whatever right. we whatever whatever we've got. And um, sure enough, my mother-in-law and and an aunt said, "Hey, we had this event today. We've got all this leftover food. Take this home." So I was like, "Yes, I don't even have to think about what I even need to make." Because there's chicken salad and a bunch of other stuff, so mm. it's pretty good. So Smart. I brought it for lunch too. Yeah. Hmm. Everything okay with you? Everything's Financially, great. bud? Yeah, why? Let's throw chicken okay. salad. A lot of things. I like it. <laughs> no, I like chicken salad, but uh, yeah, not a fan of putting the grapes in it. It's um, that's how Brian is. So he hates chicken salad with grapes. Raisins, really? Uh huh. Mm-hmm. People I'm be putting like, raisins in it. it. I mean, it's not the worst thing. When you start putting the raisins in there, I'm like, you need to stop. Mm. Especially in a potato salad. Mm. 
or uh, what was it? That yeah. one place we used to get catering from at this company that did potato salad that everybody raved about, but it was literally just no. potatoes and mayonnaise <laughs> with zero seasoning whatsoever. Really? Oh. oh, it was like the worst potato salad. And I just heard like so many people being like, this potato salad is so good. And I'm like, no, it's not. This is mayonnaise and potatoes, no <laughs> salt, no pepper, not even the slightest hint of paprika. No, I was going to say paprika is missing from that equation. No egg, no nothing. I think it was like Bob Evans or something, but that wow. doesn't sound right. It was god awful. Mm. Look, this is going out to a lot of people. They're seasoning your freaking food. <laughs> Yeah, salt and pepper at a minimum. Add some other spices. No, not wrong with some salt. As long as I have certain family members when I visit their houses, if they're cooking for me, when they're not looking, I season their food. Do you? (laughs) Yeah. One hundred percent. And then I've had that family member call me and be like, "I don't know, I made the same recipe again, and it just didn't taste as good as when we had it with (laughs) y'all." And I'm like, "I don't know to tell you." How come? Every, do you guys use? I'm giving a hug and behind their back, I'm just no. shaking and cracking. Are you a crock pot kind of guy? Yeah, occasionally. I have a pressure cooker and I enjoy that too. Do you, have, do, you do any of that kind of stuff now? I, feel like I don't cook. Oh, Ryan really? Cooks. Oh, is that right? <laughs> the entitlement. <laughs> no, I just don't. I don't know. Did you see your face? Me cook? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my forte. Okay. Do you do the dishes for them? Yeah, I do a lot mm. of cleaning. Fair, fair trade off. Mm-hmm. I cook, my wife does dishes. Mm-hmm. Occasionally she cooks and she still does the dishes because I'm tired on those days. Mm-hmm. Those are like days where I'm like, uh. I feel like it's 50 50 with us on like doing stuff. Mm-hmm. But I, mm-hmm. the only thing is, I would ha- I always have to remind Brian. Yeah. Like, I will just think of it to do it myself during the day, but if I don't. He will do it, but he's mm-hmm. like, I will forget. So you have to text me to do it. Yeah, men are mm-hmm. kind of like. He's playing that. you. I tell him, I get he's on him all the time. <laughs> like, how do you not remember this? Oh, my wife has to tell me to do it too. Like, I'm happy to do it. Just let me know. Yeah. I don't remember. I'm over here. I would take like initiative. I'll just go get it done. So it'll pop up and I'll be like, okay, mm-hmm. get this done right now. I don't even, like, it's not even in the forefront of my mind unless someone tells me. No. She'd be like, why don't you just do it? I'm like, because you didn't tell me. I just will. let me know. I'll get it done. I Send will. me a list. I will say that it depends. Like, So when it comes to like yeah. like financial stuff or like things like that, mm-hmm. like I feel like I'm, I'm pretty proactive about that for the most part. And but then like when it comes to like my daughter, uh-huh. so Morgan will be like all over that, like thinking about things that I didn't even consider. Uh-huh. Like, oh, we got to do this, we got to get this. Like, so I, I don't know. I guess from that standpoint, it's good to get reminders about that kind of stuff. Because I'm not even thinking about that stuff. I'm thinking about other stuff. I have to set up reminders to remind me of doing anything. Like, especially bills. Like, my calendar has every single bill in there and it tells me, like, in advance, here's your bill. And I'm like, oh, thanks, calendar. Because mm-hmm. otherwise, I'll just completely forget. Yeah. I'll be out there too worried about the ants filling up my coffee now <laughs> but <laughs> to be able to pay, like, the electric bill. But you know what we shouldn't forget? Hmm. To start the show. <laughs> Warning! You are about to start listening to Punch the Clock. A podcast hosted by three self-proclaimed cooperate professionals, Marshall, Justin, and Noel, recorded entirely in their company's break room. Marshall claims to be the perfect man, but if that's his idea of perfection, I'd hate to see what imperfect is. Justin claims to be Will Arnett's best friend. However, a restraining order says otherwise. And Noelle believes she is a Disney princess. But we've never seen a crown. Finally, warning, please leave the show now before the podcast starts in three, two, one. Welcome to Punch the Clock, the only podcast that invites insects for coffee time. I am your host, Justin. And I'm your co-host, Marshall. And I'm Noel. 
And <laughs> that, you started it. You did something right. <laughs> Mark told you Don't use me it. as a crutch. Do it. <laughs> yeah. He's you he bad. He you want to take over the reins? Go he for he it, buddy. Me. Not so easy, he is it? Let me slip and 52 slide episodes. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to uh, enjoying my chicken salad sandwich here. <laughs> And drink my expired Diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Carlos just didn't let you have it. You didn't do too bad. You got through the introduction. Um, and we so, have no guests today. Yeah, so oh, sorry, that. that's, that's it. That's it. Yeah, so no guests today. Um, we didn't do an episode last week, right? No, but we have one come out. Oh, nice. nice. We were ahead by like one episode, which was yeah. nice. And now we are back at just steady even. Nice. Which is a bummer for me, <laughs> <laughs> editing-wise, but you know. Well, it's good to be back here with you guys. Although we did completely blow our release by Wednesday schedule, so back on, on Friday today again. That's okay. That works. And for you, you're not the one editing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, you got this, Marshall. <laughs> yeah, I don't want us to turn around podcast in 24 hours, Justin. We do rely on you basically 100% for the entire production and uh, everything that goes into the show. And not once have I been paid. Except for that $15 we have sitting in our account. <laughs> mm. Is it, is it, do we lose that? Or is no, it, still it just gone? sits there. Mm. <laughs> I nice. figured once we hit like a large enough number, we could all just split it three ways. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> but until then, I was like, it did not feel worth it to pull it out. Enough to buy like a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, once we hit like maybe fifty bucks or sixty dollars, we can go in and get a nice lunch one day. That sounds good. Uh, yeah. This rate will be like yeah. next year before that happens. <laughs> it might be a while. Unless you yeah. want to start promoting the heck out of this show. It took fifty-two weeks to get to fifteen bucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we should really read the contract next time. Yeah. That's, it was better than nothing at the time. <laughs> I guess it kind of feels like nothing. <laughs> no. Anyway, this episode's sponsored to you by Anchor. We should really re-record that ad, by the way. We've had yeah, it since episode while. 15. Wow, it's been that long. Yeah. Man. And now we have, like, three people. <laughs> yeah, it's changed quite a bit. We should also probably have, like, a strategy to attack, like, promoting the podcast to get more money. Mm-hmm. Like, think, any social media presence would probably be a good how start. Does, um, <laughs> how does uh, uh, Critical Flick do it? Um, we have a Twitter. Mm-hmm. Um... Basically, just keeping up with comments on YouTube and then Twitter. It's basically like the main Who's thing. Who's going to hire Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Brian, I can pay He's you half like, a cent. Oh, full force. I kind of stepped away because I don't like being on camera. Hmm. Oh, really? No. I'm very critical of myself. And so yeah. it's gotten worse and worse. Where and is this? Like, you don't even have to listen to yeah, it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't have to see myself, so it's a little better. Uh-huh. I don't know. You like to be heard, not seen. Yeah. Kind of like the opposite of that old <laughs> saying. Was it seen, not heard, or something? Seen. Yes, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, all that sexism aside, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What was um, I saying? Oh, I had an idea for a second podcast. Okay. A second? Yeah, a second one. We Maybe. review. But, hold on. No, I'll, I'll watch your question first. No, no question first. <laughs> Doubts out in front. <laughs> I'm going to take a bite of this. Go? What? You're about to ask all of them. No, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Here you go. Second pot, guys. All we got to do is review video games. Video I'm out. Video games? Video <laughs> games. And we can tie it into y'all's YouTube channel by calling it Critical Pixels. Critical <laughs> Pixels? Yeah. <laughs> Picture the Brian. He can be a host. <laughs> oh, my God. Put the idea to him. Okay. I don't have his number. I can give you it. That's okay. Y'all can have your own canvas. Good, like you do with my wife. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Just scheming behind my back. No. I'm gonna I only thought with, it was funny because. I'm going to end up with like one less kidney and you two are riding off into the sunset. No, I thought it was funny because when I was at Disney, she was texting me. I don't know what And I just probably. completely forgot because I was just like busy. <laughs> and so when I came back, I was talking to you and I was like, oh my God, I never texted her back. Mm-hmm. So I texted her and she's like, I oh, know, I get it. You like Marshall more than me. I was like, no. <laughs> no, it's really funny because it's like that opposite. Yeah. <laughs> She was joking with me. Yeah, I know. 
But I just thought it was funny. I'm, I'm like, glad no. you know, because some people don't catch that she's joking. <laughs> oh, no, I know she's joking. But I just thought it was funny. I'm like, ugh. I was literally, I think, like, at Magic Kingdom when she was texting me, and then I just, like, mm-hmm. forgot. Yeah, I didn't tell her that it's a bad time to try to get a hold of you at any point when you're at Disney World. <laughs> Don't only attempt it. That's just like, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Noelle's just gone from the universe for a couple days. Yeah. But yeah, pretty cool pixels. All right. Justin, I'll, you can review, hang out. You can review phone games. You can be our mobile phone gamer. Oh, okay. Your um, your mobile phone gamer correspondent. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever mobile game you're playing that week. That sounds good to me. <laughs> I got an Xbox. I got a wife. I, she plays games that I don't play. So, first one I'm going to review. Ready My Renal it? Summer. Mm-mm. I already reviewed that one. Snake. Snake. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to boot up my old Nokia. 5700. <laughs> and we're going to play some Snake. I didn't know you were a retro gamer. My <laughs> Nokia. <laughs> so, so, look, look, look. In the, in the spirit of the name, Critical Pixel. We need to start with something that's pixelated, i.e. Snake. Snake. There we go. There we go. Second podcast. <laughs> Slowly built the empire. <laughs> hey, I'm in. Just pitch it to him. I will. Pitch it. Mm. Pitch it to him. He's been working really hard on the Critical Flip channel. It would be nice to have I someone who works hard on this channel. I think we're going to be going to the Metalbird Film Festival. Cool. I don't know what that is, but good for him. It's a rich, I mean, it's, not, it's a Virginia. We okay. went to it in 2019, I think. That's when last time. It was really cool. We're going to see. Okay, well, don't do it on Look mic. at the light. Look at the light, I guess. Do what Noel tells you. <laughs> it went away. It actually worked. Oh, God. It's bright. <laughs> It didn't Sorry. Hurt. It's my eyes water. Well, you didn't seize. Oh, I wanted to seize. Oh. I thought that was going to make me sneeze. Because <laughs> when I go out in the sun, uh-huh. I sneeze. Really? Yes. Oh. Did that happen to you? No. It's so, called allergies. <laughs> <laughs> like the light, like the bright. Uh-oh. So there's two things that are artif- that artificially cause a sneeze. Oh. Uh-huh. The sun, like the initial reaction to the sun, and minty gum. Why minty gum? Oh, that doesn't happen to you? No. Really? I just sneeze because I have really bad <laughs> I just sneeze randomly. That is oh, true. Maybe I just never put thought into like correlating what I'm sneezing to. All the dust in here? Other than, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that black film that ends up on my desk is, I don't know what it is, but probably that. And uh, all I know is I have allergies in spring. Yeah. And cats. I can't be around a cat. Me either. Cats kill me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm allergic to cats, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, I don't really care about cats that much. I feel bad because I feel like they'd be a good companion, but I can't be near them. (laughs) Cats are like a bad boyfriend. (laughs) Never there when you call them. Always, like, taking your stuff and walking away. That's Klaus right now. Okay. Throw him the vet bill and he throws it right back. Yeah, freeloading, just yeah. eating all your food. It's crazy. Yeah. Sometimes pawing at you. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. He'll just go over and over again on yep. me. And I'm like, man, you have long nails. Can you stop? <laughs> my dog does the same thing. My, my rats don't do that. Yeah. They just crawl in your shirt. <laughs> they do. Yeah, like, that was weird. Yeah, I literally got the heebie-jeebies when you, when you ah, said yeah, that. Dude, like, was, I don't know why, but when you send videos from your phone, it looks like it's filmed on potato. Yeah, I mean, do you have an iPhone? <laughs> yeah. That, that's why. Same, yeah. It's because y'all have a potato phone. I don't. You do. Oh. <laughs> I hate to tell you, the problems y'all have with iPhones are because of iPhone. Like, don't make me get Nick on I- from IT to come onto the show and prove it to y'all. I'm sure he has an iPhone. That is your video that shows up. See that little image? And then I had yeah. to blow it up, and it was, like, so yeah, I, slow and everything. I hate to tell you, that's just because iPhones are behind on Samsung when it comes to SMS. What? You know, SMS messaging and normal messaging. Uh, I'm actually, you know, I'm actually going to invite Nick onto the show and have him explain to you why it doesn't work. I was just saying. Hang on. Where is that? Works on yours pretty well. 
Yeah. I forgot what I was talking about. I'm sorry. But yeah, no, sorry, the rat. No, the rat tries to aggressively, like, snuggle with me. It's weird. It's probably because you're warm. That's what my wife says. Yeah. I'll be sitting there and he'll just go straight for the cracks and try to get in there and be like yeah. warm. Yeah. Oh, that's true. They seek warmth, uh-huh. right? Yeah. She yeah. wants to be petted like 24 7. It's wild. That's cute. Man. Yeah. I had to send my dog to the crate last night uh, because she grabbed the pretzel rod right out of my daughter's hand. Not like aggressively. Yeah. But Good dog. just, you know, like mm-hmm. took it from her. Now that you consider that the dog was trying to save her from carbs and corn syrup. No. No, she was motivated entirely by the pretzel. Yeah. And that she's exactly on her level. So uh-huh. it's an easy grab. It's not the healthiest snack, Justin. I know what I was... Oh, Klaus attacked hey, thanks me. for the judgment of my, <laughs> my parenting. Your, it wasn't me. It was I'll your dog judging you, like clearly. Pretzels, so Thank you. I'm just going to say we that. We all love a pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> carbs, I mean, Justin. I ate mac and cheese. The dog was like, Klaus oh, no. attacked me. Well, not attack me. I say that, but uh-huh. he literally was sitting next to me, uh-huh. and he usually doesn't do anything. But he watched like it was his last chance to get food really? in his entire life. So he's a a dachshund, right? Yeah. So a similar situation happened to me, like maybe a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. So my mom and aunt were living with us mm-hmm. for a little bit, and their dog's also a dachshund. Mm-hmm. So one like Friday night, I made these like chicken wings like frozen chicken wings yeah I'm sitting there eating them on the couch and then I was done so I put the plate next to me on the couch like to uh-huh. my left the dog was down the couch to my right uh-huh. he literally leaped and grabbed the chicken bones and yeah. ate them yeah he acts crazy yeah he acts like he's like on something like he's a completely different animal when it's food related yeah um, and so he got a little bop on his butt for uh, doing that. Because he was just going crazy. Yeah. And I was like, really? We just gave you food? You mm-hmm. got a treat for being good today? And then you're like over you here forgot. coming, trying to attack me over mac and cheese? Hey, have you thought about just fixing him a plate? <laughs> Brian's done that. He's put a plate at the table and he like sat at the table <laughs> and he just Hey, this has been dog advice with Marshall. <laughs> I would, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> To bored. avoid and your dog s- stealing food from you, just put up a plate by the table. I don't want to say, like, you know, you know, give him a, a bop on his butt is, like, the mm-hmm. best thing. But, like, he was going crazy. Mm-hmm. And he didn't have his collar on at the moment. Mm-hmm. We'd take it off occasionally. So I had nothing, to, like, really, like, grab. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was just like, her, like, going at it like he's never eaten his entire life. Mm-hmm. Like, he's been on the streets. <laughs> I do love mac and cheese, so I get it. Yeah. Was it good mac and cheese? Or like, I mean, was it it's Annie's? Just the cr- was it it's the craft. Oh, I, see. I mean, we go back. Oh, you gotta go at least Velveeta. I've never had it. Velveeta? Much better than craft. Mm-hmm. Most things are better than craft. Yeah, I know. It's just like, it's easy to make. Mm-hmm. Look, I know I can sit there and, and I make go, you can always add it like with a protein and then have vegetables with it, so it's easy. Good point. Yeah. Hey, look, I know I can make a better, math, better macaroni and cheese. Than Velveeta or Kraft. Mm. Some of Velveeta, I, I I'm nostalgic for it. I'll still eat it oh, okay. happily, like crutch food. Have to try it. Like I have like a lot of culinary experience, not to brag. Going to so still love Velveeta. How um so so this begs the question on uh, on a scale of very or or most viscous to least viscous. How do you like the cheese in your macaroni and cheese? It's gotta be cheesy. Yeah, it's gotta be creamy. Creamy, creamy. So, yes. so, so I would say that's probably more on the uh, less viscous side. Whereas, like What's, more viscous would what be does runny. What does mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Basically, the um, I feel like both y'all don't understand the definition of viscous. <laughs> so, so like I guess what I'm trying to say. Oh, well, I like don't. Runny, cause I'm asking about. Like runny. Oh, I got that. You're you're self omission. <laughs> Viscous is how thick something is, but right. That's what I'm saying. Do you like it runny or do you not like well, it? Runny? You said more viscous was more runny. More viscous would be less runny. More yeah. viscous yeah. would be. Okay. Greetings from Pensacola. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a green card writer in Pensacola, Florida. I live in Pensacola because it has the word pen in it, and I'm a writer. Get it. I'm looking to come up with new green card ideas for the Just Because line. Any ideas, thanks. And they did not leave a cute sign-off, but whatever. 
I'll call them Pen Pen from Pentacle. Okay. Pen Pen from Pentacle. So anybody got any just because greeting cards? Ooh. Um. I remember I gave your husband a card because he beat Elden Ring. Yeah, you did. <laughs> did you really? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> on your accomplishment. Yeah. That's awesome. That could be one. So yeah, be just because you beat a video game. There you go. That's a good one. Yeah. Normalize congratulating people for that. I think that's fair. Um, like, for me, it's rare that I finish a video game, so I won't be congratulated if I do that much. <laughs> Congratulations. I felt the eye roll on that one. <laughs> what? <laughs> From you. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Congratulations for making it through the day. I hate it. I eye roll when I don't even know I'm eye rolling. That's fair. Just because you eye rolled. <laughs> there so you go. Yeah, I did it. Now you know I'm doing it. <laughs> Greeting car and that has someone eye rolling just because you said something stupid. <laughs> it's a bad habit. I'd have a whole desk full of those. <laughs> I think my eyes are just tired. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Um, just because I want to see you smile. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Just because I want to see you frown. How about just because (laughs) you are you? Just because I hate you. Hope you die. Oh my god. That's aggressive. (laughs) Yeah. Not a good idea. (laughs) Let's get rid of nice green cards and have some aggressive. That could also be considered a like a threat. threat. Yeah. 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 You take that to the court. That's right. There Especially needs, if you sign it. Yeah. <laughs> there needs to be a line of greeting cards for when you're angry at people. Because how angry are you going to be with the other person if you got a greeting card in the first place? So it wouldn't be a greeting, right? It would no. be like a. Um, anti greeting. Yeah. Anti, there we go. Anti greeting cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just invented that for it. Just on nice stationery. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just be like the devil, you know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you get one that says because you slept with my husband <laughs> <laughs> and then inside it has divorce papers yikes so it's just this line is specifically for process servers yeah okay. <laughs> just because you've been served there we go yeah. uh, that's funny um Gosh, just because and like maybe with like jokes on the inside. Just because you went into medical debt, <laughs> you get it from the, <laughs> from go. the hospital. Oh god! <laughs> As you itemize invoice on it, <laughs> you still owe this amount. Yeah. You own three million dollars. And I, love, I, I mean, I love the sense on it. Like, why would you just like make it a whole number? I just want to let you know, I got a medical bill. That I thought was already done, but I came uh-huh. in the mail. I still owe five dollars. It's never done. I got a medical bill that said five dollars on Brian. It's like, is this real? I'm like, I don't know. Any anything's possible. I got one for twenty three cents one time, and uh, wow. yeah, and it said final notice, and I was like, you're gonna send me collections over twenty three cents? That's crazy. I, you know, in retrospect, I'm not sure if I paid that. Yeah. I would hope they would just discharge that someone and there was like, yeah, okay, let's just let that go. You know it would be an awesome um, an awesome one just because you can send it to someone and say, just because I think you needed a reminder in case you forgot to return any library books over the past 15, 20 years. Okay. Wouldn't that make you question like if you forgot to return library books? Not really, I know I have. I'm pretty sure I have some of my university's <laughs> library books that I've never returned. Really? Yeah. Possibly a DVD or two, too. I went as long as possible without getting a book in college. Really? I would look everything online just to find the closest resemblance to it. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. That's and there was other time, right? I was, we had to read a book uh-huh. in an English class. Uh-huh. Never read it. I just went off with everybody else was saying, and it just added more to it. And my teacher thought I was like the smartest person in the class. <laughs> so okay, so this is a, this is a great point. This is what's broken with the university system. Yeah. Yeah, tuition's high and all that kind of good stuff, but this uh-huh. fundamental like set of dots are totally disconnected. Yeah. Right? And uh-huh. I just realized now that we're talking about it, you have these world-renowned libraries mm-hmm. with curated collections. 
a v- variety of different genres. You went right? to a nicer school than us, didn't you? No, no, I'm just I'm just generalizing overall, right? Okay. For the most part. However, there's a separate process to buy books for class. Why wouldn't the library have textbooks that you can just take out for the semester? The and they would they should just maybe like curb the cost. I always yeah, I understand you know I mean? that. And I always wondered like why am I paying so much money to sit in a classroom filled with air? Mm-hmm. That really filled bothered me. With really? Yeah. Air. That's deep. What, uh-huh. what, what do you mean by filled out with air? It's just like there's nothing. There's just a person that came in and then they require you to buy more stuff on top of the already expensive tuition they are pay- paying for just to sit in this class. But there's nothing really to it. Like I'm, It's like you're kind of paying a rental thing to be in that classroom. That's how I always felt. Okay. I, I understand what you're saying. Now I thought you meant the room was just filled with hair and that made you mad. No, <laughs> I'm I just like, thought, what? like, what do I pick? Noelle wanted a clean room. Noelle only accepts education in the vacuum of space. Yeah. She wanted to have a white suited <laughs> clean room. No, oh, it's just like, it always frustrated me so much because, like, well, I think you're questioning the value. Of, the value. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Thank uh, you. Yes. There are definitely See, some I'm classes. See, I'm not the best like with my work. <laughs> I know what you're saying. You're questioning the value. Yeah. Of, uh-huh. Yeah, don't worry, I'm the worst with it. But no, I, I know what you mean. There were some classes I took. I'm like, why am I in this class? Yeah, like I feel like I learned more just from doing like the assignments and the, from the actual teacher. Mm-hmm. And there were a lot of teachers that I went to. Like they just had powerpoints, and we were just supposed to write all the notes, and they weren't going to give you the powerpoint at all. That's a waste. Yeah, yeah it's a waste yeah. of a powerpoint. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think in I, I, sadly, right? There's some professors that are awesome uh-huh. and some that just straight up suck uh-huh. and oh, yeah. and sadly like I think it's like that with any profession like doctors there's, there's some doctors that are great and some just suck you know yeah but you still you know there's still a cost <laughs> like you're still paying for that I know don't even get me started yeah. with the medical <laughs> Yeah. So, did y'all ever have a class that was like welcome to college class? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. First year experience it was called. So I transferred into my school after a year of community college. Uh huh. <laughs> they told me I didn't have to take that class, uh-huh. and then I found out from my advisor like three years later uh-huh. as a junior. They're like, "Hey, why'd you never take your welcome to college class? You have to have that to graduate." Oh my god! <laughs> so really? they forced me into a class with a bunch of freshmen, freshmen as a junior. Oh my god! <laughs> the moment How told, embarrassing! Hey, here's the best part: I got a C plus in the class. Wow! <laughs> because I just could not How be bothered. How often was it? It was like once a week. I was and say, I, that's an ours is once a week. I could not be bothered to show up at the time. Wow. And it was like the dean of the business school was like, I thought you would have done better. You've been here for years. I was like, ma'am, I could not care less about this class, if I'm being honest. That's too funny. That's and at one really point, dumb. she like had banned me from answering questions in the class because it was like, hey, if, where is the library? I'd be like, over there. <laughs> it's like, you have no class participation, Gray Marshall. I'm like, you wouldn't let me participate in the class. You think they would have said, look, like, let's have an hour discussion. But I'm like, run through all the major concepts. Whose fault class. is that? Like, you were allowed to like not take that class. Like, you my my first it. advisor was literally her last year, and she was retiring. She could yeah. not care okay, less. Okay, so that that wasn't your fault. She though. gave me like senior level classes in my first year of college, oh. yeah. and I had the worst GPA after that because <laughs> I should not have been doing those that early. But uh, no, that class was funny. But, had to give a presentation, a bar presentation. I was like, yeah, so about a half of y'all aren't going to make it to, like, your next semester, if I'm being honest with you guys. Is that what you oh said? <laughs> yeah, no one you guys see. Teacher, I was not sure going. You were single-handedly. <laughs> Look, tell me I was wrong. That I'm not going to lie, though. Every time, because Brian works on the academic campus at BCU. Uh-huh. And every time I go there, I'm just like, all these people have, all these kids have no idea what, what the real world is like. Yeah. like. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me your freshman class did not shrink by at least like a third every year after your first year or about half. Because um, mine did. Every single year, the freshman class cut in half. I don't know about half, but. Half of y'all are going to party too much. The other half of y'all are just going to realize the same for you. And the other half are going to realize that like, you're just not smart enough. And yes, I realize this adds up to three halves. 
<laughs> so three thirds. <laughs> There's some overlap there. So I, I don't. The know rest of y'all are gonna be too dumb to fail out like me. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, I think um, I don't know if it was half, but there were some that a lot. Did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. I would used to see friend groups and like you would look at them and be like six people to hang out and then five of them would have failed out in my school. Jeez. And you'd be like, yeah, there's only one of you left now. That's, That's school, not party good. school. Yeah, kind of. Uh, I mean, we did host Oktoberfest on our school campus uh-huh. and did truck and beer trucks for it, so it would, it would be fair to call the party school. Yeah. What you about? know how much of a shock it was for me to find out that other colleges did not have a <laughs> semester like event where it was just school sponsored drinking that's, <laughs> that's awesome with bands and a festival <laughs> like cool. I found out from our schools I was like what do you mean you guys don't have two October sponsored fest? by the school yeah 100% really? put on by school with bands wow like um they're we have real big fish come by they're shooting themselves in the foot on street light manifesto a bunch of country singers Taylor Swift one year um immortal technique came by we had a lot of people what about uh, Towson? Is that a party school? I didn't live on campus, so I don't really know. I literally commuted. Fair enough. Yeah. Nice. It was, it was an hour drive. So anyway, listener, oh, we really? hope the hell yeah. works. <laughs> huh? Well, we were answering a question uh, about green cards. We yeah, got yeah, really we on way, tangent. Way yeah, we there, went yeah. to school, yep. and now we're back. We went to college. It was fun. I'm back. I get a sense that all three of us had wildly different experiences. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't wait for it to be over. Uh, yeah. Junior, senior year, totally I made. I school. Really? Even though I, oh, did, yeah. I did well in it. I yeah. had 3.75 like my entire life. Wow. Summa cum laude over here. <laughs> but, <laughs> I should say. I was on academic probation. That's after no, my, no flex or anything. <laughs> no flex. <laughs> after my first year, I was on academic probation. <laughs> Yikes. They're like, you're going to fail out. I'm like, yeah, probably. And then I worked when college too so mm. what'd you do there i was a, i worked at a restaurant oh nice mm. anyway we have a second question okay this one's titled funko pop hello when they inevitably make a funko pop of you three what do you want your individual funkos to look like and what do you want your group one to look like love funky in florida that's awesome that is awesome i'm gonna go ahead and say that i'm gonna kind of err on the side of like so this your individual like? or group one? Individual. Okay. Um, so like so this, this is just like, in the Funko. He what? said, "Screw the group, the no. individual." <laughs> well, we get the we get the ad. I'm so kidding. so is this like clothes? Like is that you know Funko Pop? Those little big ball head really things. This is really hard to yeah. describe without showing. So so uh, for example, right? I, <laughs> as gifts, not too long ago, I received <laughs> ones that were office the office. Uh huh. Right? Yeah. So they had a button on them that you can push and like a thought pops out of the head. Mm-hmm. So mine would probably be like Will Arnett Hart? Question mark? Is the thought bubble? Okay. okay. Or just a t-shirt that says I heart Will Arnett? Yes, exactly, exactly. Make mine make me look like I'm from Game of Thrones. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> then people are like, what Westeros character like was a, he? <laughs> with like a cloak? Like a velvet cloak? <laughs> That's awesome. Just says punch the clock, Marshall. That like, is he in Game of Thrones? Was he killed off so, or something? And the chain, the chain that holds the <laughs> the neck together is yeah. BTC. Put uh, me on yeah. the Iron Throne too. That's awesome. <laughs> or make me like a superhero or something. Be like, what? What Marvel character is he? I don't remember him. It's like in a thr- like literally in the throne. He can be a superhero in Game of in Game of Thrones. That'd be intense. <laughs> I'm in spandex I have a cape and I'm on the Iron Throne and people are like what scene was this um, I think mine would have to have the Mickey Mouse ears oh fair that enough that sounds right a Britney yeah. Spears t-shirt oh which by the way just to interrupt for one second uh-huh. what do you think about the new mashup between Elton John and Britney Spears I like it I think, yeah I think it's pretty good but I I kind of just want to hear new music from her. Mm. I like it though. I like yeah. Ellen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Anyway, I digress. Yeah. How rude of you. I know, it was rude of you. Got through your what? Funko, got I through know, my sorry. Funko. I've been meaning to ask you that middle. for like a week and a half. <laughs> and I, every the middle time, of her Funko, you're like, like hold up. <laughs> I'm listened gonna let you to finish. it a lot when it came out, but yeah. I haven't listened to it recently. I don't know. Just, so, she's just very chaotic on Instagram. Mm. So it's, 
it's, it's hard <laughs> to love her. Yeah. Um, I've been through a lot, okay? She's so, <laughs> a Britney fan. <laughs> we let her go, and then we're all like, oh, she might not be mentally healed yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, she's definitely not. Really? For obvious I don't reasons, think so. yeah. to be fair. Yeah, I mean... She no one's gonna be normal after like all a, that. Yeah, like a child for like fifteen years. That's crazy. So. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're but, not gonna come out of that like mentally a hundred percent. So yeah, but so you know, been through a lot. It's really, it's really tough. Like I was looking back because I had a bunch of Britney Spears stuff. Like mm-hmm. when I was younger, mm-hmm. like I was obsessed. My whole room was Britney Spears. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So I actually sold a lot of it on Macari, and I was like, oh my god, why did I, like. Why'd I do that? Like, that was kind of like memories, but like, I don't need that stuff. Anywho. What? Memories are the jungle. No, just like memories of growing up. Like, I, I used this stuff. Like, I had a lot of attachment to it. Uh-huh. But then I'm like, no, I'm good. I just need my sign poster from her. I'm good. Uh-huh. Like, I don't. It's just too much. She's it's it's cause a lot. because her parents are in the CIA. They were like, you need to get rid of all that stuff. <laughs> I was just going through her house. I was trying to declutter, and I uh-huh. found like bins. Uh-huh. When I say bins, like five bins full of Britney Spears stuff. Uh-huh. That's okay. a lot. So I had, I was like, uh, and then I saw there was a market because I had all the Britney Spears dolls. I sold a lot of them. Wow. For like hundreds of dollars. Nice. So like, I did all that. But then I was like, oh my god, that was like half my childhood it was like with that. Uh huh. But then I'm like, I don't need that anymore. Is that your Funko? Is you of Mickey Mouse here's cash, wad money, and just crying? No. <laughs> I was gonna say, like I, still, I still support Brittany. But then I'd have a little sign companion. It'd be Klaus the Dachshund. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Cool. I have a second idea for my Funko. I want my body dead on the ground. You know, does he? You ever notice he always mentions himself like dead, dying? I'm all horribly the time. depressed. We all know that. <laughs> Medication. <laughs> and then have like a piece of toast standing over my body. What? Oh, like gluten. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 this is this is what it is, right? So, so okay, let's let's. Bring that back just one second. So you're on the ground, right? You push the button. Out from your belly shoots a piece of toast oh. to show that's what did it. Yeah. <laughs> you got the X's over your eyes. Yeah. All right. Either the Westeros one yeah. or the piece of toast killing me. That's the, <laughs> that's the best one. <laughs> you collect the whole collection. You're like, you know what's two, crazy? two of them are normal, <laughs> but the third one. Because of House of Dragon that came out, I rewatched. All Game of Thrones oh, up God. until the last season. Mm-hmm. I don't want to start the last season because it's so bad. <laughs> really? I haven't bothered with Game of Thrones. I've just been watching the dragons. I can't. I just can't follow it. That's fair. It's a lot. <coughs> no, then I- when I was rewatching, I'm like, I understand like why this was so good in its time, but then it like it literally does decrease, and it's just because. I was watching House of Dragon. It like mm-hmm. made me think of all those feels I had when I was watching the other show. That's fair. But it's a lot. There's a lot of gruesome stuff that happens in this show. <laughs> Still gotta figure out our group Funko. Should we match? For the Make group sure Funko? We all have mics. It should just be our booth. And then you two face bombing while I am saying Maybe something like this. Maybe like a like little this. poem on the shirt. Get it? Ah, uh, gotcha. <laughs> Alright, like, <clears throat> we're all in a booth? Yeah. Like basically just a replica of this. Yeah, right here. Setup. Yeah, and you two are face palming while I'm like. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I made the motion. Yeah. No, they Exasperated. Would want, they, would, they would want our faces on it, so we don't want to cover. Fair. fair. Oh, yeah, you can do the thing where you put your hand on your head. Well, the oh, button. Well, the, they can push a button on the table, and when they push the button, then. Noel and I face palm and Marshall's <laughs> arms go up exasperated. Just is into this. So when the when you press the button, the Mothman pops out. Yes. Yeah, yes. on the center yes. of the table. Yes. 
<laughs> the group one is just the three mothmen. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's what we should be wearing. We should have that, and then we uh, can have like little hats, like the mothman. Uh, mm-hmm. It should and be the three button. of us. You push the button. Yes, the button flaps our wings. There we go. <laughs> Funko Pops. They're known for having buttons. Joe, <laughs> Justin made them up. <laughs> no, that's not true. Don't they have buttons? No. Apparently not. What button. am I thinking of? You're thinking about bobbleheads. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look, look. I will send you a picture. This is gone. That's not true. That's not okay, true. Hold, on, hold on. I will show you hold a picture on. of these. Just fundamentally, these Funko Pops. Hold on. That I got. Hold on. Funko Pops. You, the office. I'm telling you, there's buttons. The oh. one for Michael Scott. You push it, and it pops it's out of his head. That's what she said. Really? Yes. Okay, hold on. Michael Scott, let me look this up. Ooh. Funko Pop. I got it. The Funko Pops is our booth with the three of us, but our guest on the other side is the Mothman. Oh, that'd be oh yes. yes. There you yes, go. Yes. Nailed it. That is a good one. So you're telling me your Funko Pop looks like this? Like Michael Scott. Um, like, that's what they look like. From the office as a Funko. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, I can probably All right, find so them. listeners, if you don't know what a Funko is and you've been listening for 15 minutes of us ranting about them, they're I like little. Said so many. <laughs> Imagine a bobblehead with a giant head. I've never known to have my bu- buttons. And I have a lot of them. And Apparently, no buttons. Really? Yeah. I'm telling you, I think they have buttons. Are you talking about? I feel. I think you're talking about another thing. Are you talking about dwarves? <laughs> no. It looks like this, and it came in that box. Yes. Okay. Dang. I'm telling you, I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> and- oh my god. And send you guys this picture. <laughs> okay. Anyway, no. listener, this is what a Funko is. A Funko is like a little skinny body plastic guy with a very large head, like a bottle of doll with soulless eyes for some reason. Of your favorite characters from literally any media. In case you didn't know. <clears throat> yeah. Type in, do Funko pops have buttons? Are you saying those rumors where Funkos have like a brain inside of them or something? Like where you cut open the head and they have stuff on there? Really? No. That's a rumor. Take your most expensive Funko and do it. Let me know. (laughs) Yeah, that would be kind of wild. So which ones do you guys collect? Um, I think I I have I'm going to go off and say, you're going to need to take a picture of this. Because I've never seen one with a butt. Okay. And it opens up. Okay. I got the one of the Dr. Pepper guy. Mr. Sweet one? Yeah, because it was oh, free if you drink it on Dr. Pepper. Yeah. American Idol season one. Yeah, we one. got that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that working? <laughs> I like Dr. Pepper. He said his last name and everything. Uh-huh. Justin Garweedy. <laughs> Big American Idol fan, huh? American Idol yeah, season, season one. Who's <laughs> <laughs> like, But, um, I have that one, and then I have a Bob Ross Deadpool. I have four I didn't really Britney Spears ones. These. I sold one because it went for seventy dollars. Wow! Um, I've sold a lot for seventy dollars. A lot nice. of supernatural ones. Mm-hmm. Um, I have Batman. We have so many. Gilmore Girls. No. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> uh, the little sweets are only worth like twenty bucks. That's about it. Yeah, I sold him though. I'm gonna see if I can find it. But um, He's um yeah. a sweet one. <coughs> sweet as some commercial. <laughs> Please do go on. <laughs> what? Go do go on. <laughs> it's gonna be funnier than anything I had planned. All right. Did he do that in the commercial? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't have television. Like you can look it cable up on TV. YouTube. I'm not gonna look up an ad on YouTube. <laughs> Just I'm not the person. <laughs> anyway, uh, Lister, we hope that helps you, question mark. Yeah. I bet you, like, I like to believe that our Funkos are, like, in a bargain bin for, like, a dollar. <laughs> Justin is in the hunt. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe you had the wrong thing. Okay, so it's Funko Popsies. Okay. It is Popsies. the Funko brand. I know what you're talking about now. They, like, stand Popsies. and they, like... I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's exactly that. Oh, okay, but it's not a Funko Pop. It's a Funko Pop C. <laughs> it's a Funko. Yeah, it's a Funko brand. <laughs> yeah, because Funko makes a bunch. They make like Dorbs, they make other ones. But uh, Funko, like, those are the Funkos, like. Mm hmm. Who called? Oh, that was weird. I heard someone call. 
Hmm. Weird. Ghosts. Um, Sick. Guess. Welcome to Punch the Clock, the only podcast ha- actually haunted. <laughs> um, I would anyway, believe that, that my Funko cost less. No, you weren't. <laughs> okay. But now I know what you're talking about because I'm like trying to imagine like the Funko Pop I know, like uh-huh. with something popping out, and I'm like, they have bobbleheads. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but I like to believe my Funko costs less than y'all's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mine's going to be... You oh, get, the cost? Oh, oh Mine's going to be exactly fifteen ninety nine. You get mine, then mine every single box, no matter what, is damaged in some <laughs> way. <laughs> because I, since I have a companion, it ups the charge a little bit. I so. got you. What do they go for? Fifteen ninety nine. Usually, like, 11 13 or 15 Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or if it's like a big, if it's the four of us, it'd be like forty dollars. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Could we be sold at an FYE? What? Is that not a not a place anymore? Probably not. Would you say we be? Can we be? Oh. Sold? Can we be? Can we be sold? Can we be? What did I say? I thought you said Can we be? <laughs> Quibi FYE sold. I'm like, what? Can we be sold at FYE? <laughs> Can we be? Yeah, and on that bombshell, it's time to end the show. <laughs> That's a wrap. Uh, anybody got anything to shout out? Uh, Critical flick on YouTube. Or else. Or else. Shout out to FYE. <laughs> FYE, I like that story. Don't yeah. know what story is. Um, shout out to Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Good show. Okay. I'll watch that. Mm. Shout out to Cyberpunk 2077. The game got good. All right. And um, shout out to that feeling of existential dread right before you go to sleep. Anyway, that's going to end it. That was very depressing. <laughs> <laughs> that was I've been Marshall. Stop. That was a hard stop. <laughs> I've been Marshall. And I'm Justin. And I'm Noel. And Toodles. 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 <laughs> I was like. <laughs> 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 I literally 